Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Chef Yarneezy, the Pip Master. I know you've been like, where this dude been? Listen, I have been working with a group that I troubleshot at 30 day, basically for the month of February. They took only my trades, only traded my lot sizes. And I'm glad to say that over 70% um, came out on top. And about out of that 70%, uh, 47% double their accounts or greater. So great success with that group. If any of you guys are looking to uh, compound on your finances, please, please, please subscribe to my page. You can become a part of my group if you are a trader in the Forex market. So I need someone that's, a, you know, you got to be a um, um, avid trader, someone who understands trading someone who can take the bumps and bruises of uh, trades going the wrong way, then coming back and paying you tremendously. All right, without, without any further ado, check this out. Bitcoin, guys, I think that's it. I think Bitcoin is done uh, with its bottom fishing. It made its double bottom. It hit the, um, the 800 on the day chart. So look, there's a double bottom, one there, one there. Okay, and now it's ready. I believe Bitcoin is getting geared up, even though to pull back here to this 50 on the day chart, right, which is like 41, uh, 41, 859, somewhere in that, that range. Even though it will pull back there, once Bitcoin passes this 200 EMA, it's a wrap, guys. This sucker's going way up. I, I believe Bitcoin will go ahead and peak 69,000 this year, and I'm giving it. Uh, let's say that was November. All right, so let's give it about three to four months before we're up here, somewhere in the neighborhood of the 63,000 range. Remember, you heard it here first. Guys, KMI, Kendall Morgan, I gave this to my group as a trade uh, to put in either as an option or as a stock to purchase at $15. That was a, a few days ago. It's at $18 today. Okay, when you look at the one hour chart, that sucker ran. <laughs> um, I'm sorry, I gave it to him at $16, $16, because it ran from there. Uh, and it just lost its mind. I said a couple of days ago, but I gave it to him a couple of weeks ago, uh, maybe about a week ago, because that's the 25th of, yeah, 25th of February or so. So I gave them this trade about a week ago. I had it running to 1861 today. That's where it's headed. <laughs> Uh, 1861 ADGI. I did a put on ADGI from six dollars and eighty four cents, and I'm still in my put all the way down to 505. A uh, charge point. I'm still looking for charge point to make big moves up to sixteen dollars and seven cents uh, here in the near future. Uh, crude oil, guys. I am looking for crude oil to drop. I did a head and shoulders pattern here on the one minute chart, but it looks like. Let me delete it real quick. It looks like it did not complete the head and shoulders on that chart, but it, it is coming down to complete the pattern regardless. Let's see what chart it made it on. Oh, okay, here we go. So it did it on the 15 minute chart, which is even greater. So let's do it. Y'all ready? Head and shoulders. One, two, three. There's the head. Four, come down here, go to the high shoulder, and it should come down here. So there's your perfect head and shoulders pattern. Uh, coming down to 105, and I believe it's going to hit my support line at 104.22 for crude oil. Why is crude oil dropping after such a dramatic run to 116? Well, the president came out and said the other day that they're about to start producing barrels and all this other stuff. And we're about to partnership with uh, other uh, countries and 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 do better with our oil purchases, right? But this whole war thing got us, you know, got the panties in a bunch. So. Right now, if that's the case, and they've already started the moves in doing that, crude oil has to reset, okay? And that means, what does the reset look like for crude oil? Let's show you. Crude oil's reset area is right here. This is a comfort zone for crude oil, right up in this range, 90 to $97 a barrel, okay? That's a comfort zone. An old comfort zone used to be $72 a barrel, between $72 and $76 a barrel, okay? But it has since then graduated. This is also a nice comfort zone right here, uh, somewhere between 86 
and eighty nine dollars a barrel. So if you are taking crude oil like I am down to the bottom of the floor, I'm taking crude oil right now to about a hundred dollars a barrel. I believe it's going to hit there. It's going to take it a day or two, but it's going to hit. It might do it tonight because crude oil moves like nobody's business. Now, silver and gold. Silver and gold have done some amazing things, meaning there is my trend line. I talked about this today on our call. I drew a trend line. I said, I don't think it's going to peak 47 because it's making a higher low, right? Or lower high, lower high. Yes, lower high. So it's com it comes and then it makes a lower high each time, right? And if you look at the left side, the left side said after it did all of this buying up, it dropped. Well, something in the market, something significant is going to happen. Either this sucker is going to plummet back down here to the uh, 200 EMA or it's going to run, hit this line again. Now, if it hits my trend line again and breaks through the trend line, it's safe to say that it's going to my uh, one hour chart markup at 25.62. But if it does not, look for silver to come down to my green line, which is 24.85. If it passes that, it's coming down to that 200 EMA, which then I don't think is going to come all the way down to the 800. But, you know, the market is crazy. Gold is in the same boat as um, silver. Gold is doing the same exact moves as silver did. Uh, but gold looks like it's on a buy trajectory, right, to 1959. So let's see if gold breaks out of here fully, which it has. And let's see. Let me extend this box. If gold breaks out of here fully, comes to meet here at 1938.92, uh, then it's either going to stop hesitate and then pull back and start making dojis here to consolidate or it's going to break out of here hit the uh, zero line on the fibonacci then scoot on up to 1959 from 1950 nas nas and us 30 have been doing tremendous moves guys so look at this um all it's doing is creating crowns all right arches or whatever you want to call them head and shoulders all day long here's one here's another Here's a crazy one, right? So it's buying up, selling, buying up, selling, buying up, selling, buying up, selling, blah, 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 right? All right, so what is it going to do now? It's in between the mouth. I call this the mouth, the 50 and the 200. So it looks like it wants to close the mouth and come down and hit that 200 line, which is going to put it at 14,070. And I still believe it's going to hit 14,000 even. That's the NAS. US 30, my favorite... U.S. 30, let's go to the one hour chart on U.S. 30. U.S. 30 is trying its best to get up to that 800, right? So that means NAS will in turn buy up, if that's the case, to the same 800. Uh, but if it does not, if it's not ready yet, then it will pull down. But I'm looking at this EMA and it's 50 looks like it's trying to push up for a buy for U.S. 30. Uh, so that's my analysis for now. Let's go to a higher time frame. Yep, I, I talked about this today that I believe US 30 is trying to push up to 34,519. That's the Dow Jones. And if I look at the, um, at the, um, what was I going to say? Oh, if I look at Finviz here, all right, let me refresh it. It's showing me that some of my heavy hitters, Apple, Google, um, they are in the mid green color category, not the bright green like Walmart is. Uh, and Microsoft is in the burgundy, not in the red, uh, such as AMD, okay, or Tesla, okay. But when these suckers are all green, you can count on a bull market. Right now, it's a bearish bullish market. What does that mean? It's a lot of consolidation going on. So really, price is not moving. If you, if I box this up, let me box this up for you real quick. Uh, where's my box? There. If I box this up from here to here. And that's actually too high. I box it from here to here. Price action really, nope, let me go here. Price action is not really going beyond um, this area here. And that's from 34.67 uh, to 33.789. That's its price range right now. Once it breaks out of here, hits this yellow line at 191, it's gone, okay? Cancel Christmas, that sucker is running after that and i believe us 30 will run from there i want to be in the money and catch it from the base all the way up so i'm going to continue to look here 
Look at the RSI on the one minute chart. The one minute chart is almost hitting my yellow line. My yellow line is an indicator to tell me that's an area that it likes to hit before it takes a run. Bounce and there's a run, right? Hits the yellow line and there's the run. Hits my yellow line here and that's really not a run, but this is on a one minute chart. Yellow line, there's a run, okay? So I'm looking for it to either hit my yellow or close to my magenta line. Once it does that, I'm in a buy, okay? I'm in a buy unless the news is horrible and you know ain't nothing else that can tell me um that's going to change the trajectory of where this is wanting to go all right so that's my time guys it's been 10 minutes and 45 seconds hopefully you got something out of this again kmi adgi ch uh, charge point look for adgi once it rock bottoms here at five dollars and some change then it should take a run for the buy because look it's it's definitely setting up for a buy Bitcoin, I already told you where that's going. If you look at the one minute chart versus the day chart on Bitcoin, it's showing you that it's in a sale momentum, right? All the way down to where I said, which is 41,859. So it's going to run through these Fibonacci moves, pow, oh, pow, and hit that and keep it moving. Uh, EJ, I didn't tell you about EJ real quick. EJ, irk and jerk, okay? EJ looks like, see this cross here? He's got one more cross to make. So EJ will come down to about 127.29. Um, let's look at, look at what that is. Aha, uh -huh. I've been talking about this for a while. So it wants to hit the 800 off the day chart at 129.099, 127.099. Once it, I get the hiccups, guys. Once it crosses 129, I would say, let's see, right here. Once it crosses 127.770, I would catch that sucker for like all those pips. I catch all them jokers coming down here. Look, 770, I think that's like 600 pips or 7, 770. Oh, 770. That's 70 pips. All right, that's great. So 70 pips is what that sucker's looking like it wants to do. Um, if you want to catch it from here, I wouldn't recommend it because it got some pullback left in it. If you look at the higher time frames, oh, well, at least you can catch it down to uh, 15, 120. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on, Charlie Murphy. Oh, let me go back to the day chart one more time. Hold on. How is it showing 126 on my other chart? Well, uh, we chart. Oh, well, okay. The week chart. Ooh, 126.80. Well, let's see if the week chart is going to be on point because it is definitely setting up for a sale. Look here. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. It might be set up for one more up before it comes down, guys. Ooh, we, I'm here for it. I'm, I'm here for it. Okay. All right. Uh, 13 minutes already. All right. Uh, that's my time. Please enjoy this this call. Please enjoy it and like it. Talk to your boy. I'm out. Later.